Uh, we're going to move to the park, though, and I think that's where we start having a little bit of uh, contention in regards to the park. One is, is that IC Park was designed to serve four masters. And any time you put an assessment to try to say, uh, serve four masters, it becomes very difficult. One is, is that it was designed to tell us how a uh, student is doing. Okay. Two is, is that it was designed to tell us how a district was doing. Three is, is that it was designed to uh, tell us how a teacher was doing, right? And fourth is, is that it was told to us that it was going to be designed to be an interest exam for, for colleges and, and universities. Well, the fourth one we know probably not going to happen, that ACT and SAT are going to continue to dominate the market. And we don't see PARC as being something, it might be used for placement, but it won't be used for entrance. We don't believe it will be used for that. So that's a difficulty for us. And, and as we know, these, you know, districts, this, uh, districts all across the state were offering ACT. Now it's one of those things that the state is no longer going to what well, the offering. We were required to do ACT. Now it's one of those things that's going to be optional. I know that there's going to be some districts that are not going to be able to do that uh, from a financial perspective. We've made a commitment in D303 that we're going to continue to offer 303. Uh, ACT, where regardless of whether the state funds or not. Uh, so that's one that kind of didn't work so well. Okay. Measuring teacher performance, probably not going to work very well because I'm not going to get results back in time to meet the requirements under the uh, under our contract in order to provide the uh, feedback for the teacher to say that's going to be part of their 25% or 30% of their evaluation that we're going to use that for. So. Park is really not designed uh, well to provide that um, that feedback uh, in regards to that. And we're all a little bit nervous right now because we don't have a baseline. We haven't seen any results. We got feedback from our all of our schools, and we got feedback that said, "Well, it wasn't as bad as what we thought was was going to be." That was probably so. We we're reasonably okay right now, but we haven't seen any results yet. So. If one of the things that we had concerns about with the previous in Illinois, uh, the ISAP test, was that we often topped out uh, on, our, on the test. So in other words, the elementary schools would often, in our district, would come in 95, 96%. That was not unusual. And then our high schools would go to the Prairie State exam and they would get 70%. So what happened between you know the elementary schools and the